Hello friends, this is the first live streaming for the concept as we sit because sitting is not on only a meditation it's also doing things and be creative and uh, lately I made a scratching post for my cat and I would like to share with you all the process, the idea maybe you would like to check it out and to maybe adopt it for yourself and your cat if you have any uh, let me show you first uh, the progress and the picture, the initial picture I would like to start with let's say this, this is the before the before is a smoked fireplace I decided to make the uh, the, con the, the, the construction, the structure of this uh, scratching post in the fireplace because I didn't use the space and because my cat used to go there and uh, because he was very naughty was, you know, was all, all over smoked a black uh, color <laughs> so I didn't want him to be any more black of the coals that they were there and I created this uh, scratching post that it is on the on the right for you a special scratch post for my cat Martin and I will let you know how I did it and all the process indeed but before doing that let me also uh, tell you the problem, I, I initially told you some words about it, the problem was that, that my cat is very very naughty and very very energetic and uh, he likes very much to go into this special fireplace and you know hang around but as he was over there and as it was uh, smoked from the burning fire that was previously there he was getting all black black uh, in his body in his tail in his little paws and his uh, all over his body this is Martin then this is his little paws as his uh, he went in the fireplace and they're all dark like a fume all dark paws and not only the paws it, he was all over dark <laughs> this is the truth he was all over dark in his body also in his legs in his hair and I could not help it but uh, think something about to do something about it I didn't want to let him uh, be black all the time because it's very difficult to wash a cat to have uh, to, to make him to force him have a bath they don't like uh, bathing so much of course the first time he went there he could not avoid the bath he went directly into the bath but I didn't want him to f force him this is the fireplace and uh, the burnt color I tried to put this cover, you know, uh, from metal, the metal cover, but the cat uh, circulated this cover many times, tried to find his way inside, sometimes he succeeded, sometimes he did not succeed. And uh, it made my life a little bit difficult because um, he went over there. So, I put some pillows first, as a first measure I put some pillows in front of the door of the fireplace, but this didn't let Martin, didn't uh, let Martin calm down a little bit about this area, didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't help much. He used to go there, he loved to go there, so I was thinking about it and um, what I could do. Of course, one idea was to fill this fireplace with woods, with woods to be burned in the winter. But I didn't want to use the fireplace as a fireplace anymore, not at least, you know, this, uh, this season. And uh, I didn't want to put, to load it with woods 
I wanted to look good and I wanted to be useful for me and my cat. So I, deci I decided to use this space to make a special scratch post because it is a wide enough, a large enough area for a scratch post and uh, I have seen scratch posts for cats uh, ready-made in Amazon uh, in other places but they were small little I wanted to have I wanted Marty my cat to have a more spacious like a bed something like that uh, he could use as a bed also for this reason I had this idea to make this scratch post and this idea started by me taking out the pillows and uh, from the entrance of the fireplace and moved this uh, metal door and I took the measurements really carefully I measured all the sides it was like a hexagon and I tried to, to take all the measures from side to side, from all the sides, up and down because I want to do also a bottom, sides and a, a top cover. So I took some carton, a box from paper and Martin uh, was with me in all the process. For the first, for the bottom part, I used a hard cover and uh, as I explained already, I have taken these measurements for the, for the bottom. I transferred these measurements on the cardboard and carefully I made the lines as accurate as possible onto the paper and also um, cutted some other spaces around it, some more space and uh, this way I made the bottom and the top cover so I made two of those shapes, same shapes like a hexagon. Martin was always with me during this process and he was helping with his naughtiness inspiration and cuteness <laughs> he loved so many boxes so finally I create around eight shapes uh, one for the bottom one for the top and uh, one two three four five so seven uh, seven already uh, five for the um, for the sides many many boxes I used for this process and I started I started to, to put them together initially I used some kind of glue very um, light glue uh, double-sided glue but this was not only this is, was only to you know to initial make it stand up not for the final gluing it together. Martin was there and helping me to put this whole thing and structure down all the time and um, I was determined to succeed so I was not discouraged by his approach <laughs> to play with it all the time. I continued making the structure to get inside the fireplace. Uh, this was a paper structure from Cardons cardboards, paper cardboards and I continued putting some other tape over there around it just to you know a little bit to secure more but I also was going to put even more secure later on but this for the initial part just to fit in I put more secure and I fit it in the fireplace it was it was looked good and as you can see 
Martin is checking already. He's checking also on the top, so you can see the need already because the covered should be there because over there was a little bit of uh, burned uh, color, black color and I would like Martin to avoid getting there so I put a cover I had cut already I secured it on the top with some tape after taking correct measurements and this was the the, the result from the first day so this was the base to put the scratching post but this was not all about it of course it has a continuation it lasted some days so I used these uh, these days to make something solid a structure that was very nice and solid I wanted to be like that so this is yes doing things is another type of meditation and uh, that's, that's why I combine it with, uh, with the sitting. Sitting is meditation, but uh, this is not a meditation, it's just sitting down doing things. If you want to watch my other videos, you can find them in my channel. Uh, they, we, we broadcast live to do some kind of, you know, informal meditation together. You can join these too. Let's go to the second day and the continuation of the structure of making the scratching post. And let's go to the video number three. So I secured uh, this space that I made from paper carton uh, with, with more tape. But then I got some plastic sticky covers, papers sticky papers, plastic, and I cut them in uh, stripes this much, this, much, this much wide and I put them in, in, them in stripe because it was either easier to glue them uh, I, I could not really put the whole part uh, without cutting it so I, I cut them in stripes and put them mostly covering the top because this plastic uh, would not be you know that, that tempting for Martin to scratch on it plastic on the top and on the sides to secure the binding areas of course I could not leave it like that we are still in the middle and uh, I took some um, straw fence you know, very cheap straw fence that we could put on the balcony, on the yard, etc. But not, not something very hardware, very light, soft, and uh, very light and soft. And I took also the measurements when I needed to put it. And with the right tools, the correct tools from my garden, I cut it. I cut these uh, light sticks on uh, the correct measurement. Of course, all this time Martin was playing with me. He was there accompanying with me and uh, doing his best to be naughty and to enjoy himself. Mm -hmm. Because don't do something if you don't enjoy it. don't do it if it's not fun it was so much fun for me doing all this that's why I did it so I had this let's say wooden fence ready and I put it on the side part of the f of the fireplace uh, outside the, the paper the carton I put it there, I didn't use some glue, it was fitted very nicely, perfectly, it was bending a little bit and this was the end of the second day of the structure. We are, you know, almost in the middle, but of course so far we have not made yet the fireplace, the, the cardboard from... Um, for the scratching post 
uh, yet. So let's do the scratching pose right now. Let's start doing the real scratching post. So I try to take measurements for the bottom because uh, the scratching post would be mostly on the bottom but Marty did not let me do a single thing. He was playing with my measurement tool. It was a stripe from elastic but it was my measurement tool for the time. So I took my measurements and I created a bottom that I could transfer in the living room and uh, start to filling it in. But I wanted first to put it in the fireplace to see if it fits correctly. And as when I was happy I took many boxes, paper boxes from the supermarket, but so many boxes. I put them all in the balcony and started to put them inside the home slowly, slowly as I went in. So I put, I, I, I brought the base uh, in the living room and uh, started gluing stripes of carton of, sen of 10 centimeters each around, one around uh, this base. 10 centimeters high and the first row was a little bit hard to glue it so I secured it with some clips and it was the only paper stripe I put uh, uh, on the back all the others I put in the front I used uh, glue for paper you can find it in store and um, yes that was it as, as my base and I started to build on this after a while this glue was a little bit uh, it was wet in the beginning but started, started to be okay and then I started to fill in the, the inside and this was the real starting time for this real scratching post. I, so I, I, I cut many many stripes, so many stripes of 10 centimeters each width, the length dependent each time from the part I was, I was to cut. So I cut the length but the width was always 10 centimeters. I put some glue, I let it dry and this way I continued for that day but I did not make it all way to the end that day I did some part only and uh, this was the part I finished for this third day I let it dry so that it was easier for me to continue next day. Martin is, was tired already so he took a nap and uh, wanted to be ready for the next day. So the next day more stripes, more work, more painting for, of the glue, more putting stripes on the scratching post and started to look as a scratching post, slowly, slowly. It was a really fascinating thing to do. To, I, it was really pleased, satisfying thing to, you know, to try to, to glue it on the paper, to put it in press firmly, because the secret in all this construction was to, to press the glue on the paper, to press it firmly each time, to for the for the pieces of paper to be you know very very close together this was really the um, the secret of all because if you make it loose with the first scratch it would fall over and this was the final result i was very very pleased with the result as it came out you see the white glue but it will dry and be transparent and this is 
the final result on its real place in the fireplace which is a very, a very big scratching post now for my little cut and I was very very pleased with the result it was nice minimal it was, it was looking like a it was, it was look, looking like a wood, not a paper. It was uh, like a cut wood of a tree, and it was really, uh, it, it was really, it is really like look like a very nice, minimal, and um, interesting to be inside the home. And of course, besides the aesthetics and the beauty of it, the practical part was really, really nice. Uh, for my cat to enjoy but this is what I am doing and what I am saying about it what Martin was doing and what Martin was saying about it it would be very interesting to see his reaction and uh, it was very interesting for me to make it also I, was, it, I, I had fun during all this time so I will let Martin now say his opinion about all this. I will see you in the next video as we sit. And um, the place now to, for Martin to check it out and to let us know his, uh, his feelings, his, uh, to express how, you know, he interacts with it, if he likes it or not, and let's go to Martin, bye for me, bye for now.